Hello! This week's episode is 100 yards uh, over the rim, and it's about a frontiersman who happens to end up a century out of time. Uh, it's one of those time travel episodes, there are a few of those in uh, Twilight Zone, and we've seen some already, and we're going to see more of them. Uh, and this one is, I mean, it's, it's a fairly, it's a fairly cheap pr uh, premise to make. You need a few wagons and, and some costumes and stuff like that, but then all you need is a set, a contemporary set for a cafe, and then you need an outdoor location, and voila, right? So it's, it's very simple to shoot a very effective little story. Uh, when, uh, Chris falls over when he's almost hit by the truck and the gun goes off, uh, it does go off. You can, you can see like the, the dust flying off. Uh, the sound is very muted, and he doesn't sell that he's just been shot, like in the arm. Uh, he, he just goes about his business, so you wouldn't actually think that he that the shot even went off. Uh, it's a bit weird. Uh, if this had been something modern, something new, uh, there would have been no sound around him, like the truck passing by, and it would have been very loud and very you know destructive, and you'd see him go ah and check the gun and all that stuff. But you don't see that in this uh, at all. Uh, when he goes up to the jukebox, there's a reflection uh, in in the glass. And it I'm not sure if it's plate shot or not. It looks very warped, but there's also a reflection in the chrome. So it's weird. Um, it, it looks very odd anyway. Uh, so the, the he brings back uh, penicillin to his boy to treat his his pneumonia, and we know he's going to make it because that's in the the encyclopedia. That's a causality loop, right? He causes something to happen, which causes itself to happen. Uh, it's it's you shouldn't do that. Don't do that. It's it's bad time travel etiquette. The kid might even have studied the pills. Uh, well, I don't think he could have studied the pills because by the time he grows up in like 20 years, those pills are pretty much broken down. There's not a lot of interesting stuff in it anymore. Um, medicine lose um, effectiveness rather quickly, actually. The uh, wonderful hat he's wearing, the, the stovepipe. It uh, was actually the actor's idea, uh, I read uh, somewhere, and uh, uh, he just thought he'd look more uh, rugged and uh, and out of time when, when he was wearing that rather than something else. And it makes sense. I mean, you, you can't go around without a hat. That's what McFly says. Uh, the next episode is the Rip Van Winkle caper. And there's no outro in this episode, so we don't have an introduction for it, but I will see you next week and uh, we'll talk about it. Take care, everyone.